All right, welcome to the July 30th Aries Cloud Agent Python Maintainers Meeting. Uh, PRs issues, the 1.0 and 0.12.2 releases, and uh, an update on where we are with the documentation site is on the agenda today. Um, this is a uh, Linux Foundation, Hyperledger Foundation meeting. So the Linux Foundation antitrust policy is in effect, as is the Hyperledger Code of Conduct. Please follow both. Uh, we're recording and we'll post the recording after the meeting. Um, welcome to all. Any introductions, any announcements to be made, and any adjustments that people want to make um, to the uh, agenda and would like to talk about on this meeting. Grab the mic. All right. Okay. Um, 12.2 RC1 test results. I know Daniel said he was going to be testing, I think, today, um, but hadn't had results. Um, any news on what I think Lucas on the BC Gov team has been testing? Any feedback on 12.2 um, such that we can move it forward or not? Um, I don't, I just know that they deployed it and are testing it with the BC wallet. And then we ran all the integration tests locally on it and it passed, but okay. that was about it. Yeah, I, I think that the first run of smoke testing or whatever you want to call it was all successful. We didn't have good issues. I don't really want to do a lot more. It's probably good enough to, to move forward. Okay, we'll wait for a bit more feedback, particularly from Daniel, and go forward from there. Um, okay, RC5. Um, any feedback on testing from there? Um, I, so far, so good. Daniel said he ran his integration test suite on it. And then if the Akapai ones and the AATH ones, and the, everything's good with those. So I don't think we really have many more tests. Huh? Yeah. OK. So we're very close. Um, right now, from a PR's perspective, um, We've got this arm one that is very close. Um, I asked Akif, asked you to update some docs. Yeah. Um, the, gonna... Obviously, the concern is the integration tests are failing. Um, do we have a handle? Uh, I'm less concerned, obviously. I'd love to have this one go away, the security hotspot. But and we definitely don't have to change the coverage or the duplication, so that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna go through with a, a quality gate failure, but I think we're good with that. The bigger one is this. Um, just a matter of interest, what's going on here? Um, so I haven't quite taken a deep dive into that. I know with the sonar cloud one, the two, like you said, it's not a big issue. Yeah, but yeah, that one we can we can leave off. But yeah, I have. I'm not sure if uh, it's running the updated tests for that integration test or it's r right. running the old ones. Yeah. Oh, I did uh, it failing after 13 minutes. That's fast. <laughs> yeah. Actually, let me just take a quick look here. Uh, I know, like, I mean, this doesn't mean much, but running it locally definitely does pass yeah. with the BBS flags, but, you know. Yeah. So big thing is to check what's happening here. Um, yeah. I'm totally comfortable in merging with the Sonar Cloud. Definitely will, don't want to don't want to run without an investigation, understanding, and and fixes on the integration. Yeah. Okay, but I think we're close on this one. Um, 
The LTS strategy, we put feedback. I'm not seeing Pradeep here. Um, is he here? No, yeah, no, he's not here. Um, Emiliano and I put some feedback in and, and requested some specific changes. Um, big thing is um, about branches. Um, we're not actually going to, we're only going to have one branch and it's not going to have, it'll probably be 012.lts and 011.lts. So we'll probably rename the branches and, and keep that style going forward. So, and then there's a few other specific descriptions that, that were not good. And um, so I've asked for some specific changes there. It's just, wording tweaks obviously in the documentation but i'd like to make sure we um, are understanding that i am less concerned about getting that one in so if we don't get those changes we can survive um once we get this one in i'd be pushing for it um opinions on rc6 um versus just going ahead with the 1.00 I was going to check on what we put in since 06. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Oops. Um, there is a fix for that specific case where you created a uh, wallet. The key. The prior to, yeah, with a blank key. Yeah. Um, we got this one yeah. documentation fix, and then everything else is depend bots. Okay. I'm just unsure about the stuff that Keith did. Like in my, I kind of just want to get one out and then like, me too. That could be a uh, 1.1 and yeah. it wouldn't take very long. Like, exactly. That's how I kind of feel about it. Yeah. But, okay. Any, any other objections? I say we just go with 1.00 after the next, um, after the next PR completes. That is the the M1. Because that's a pretty big one too. Like, I don't feel like, like, and I know we want it to run on Mac, but yeah, that could be a release by itself too. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking we go ahead before this one? Yeah, with the that we obviously want to have that fix for I think it's just one deployment that did it with the blank key too. So yeah. Yeah. That would require release candidate six. But I, I would that, say for the rekey, I wouldn't do release candidate six. You think this one does require a release candidate six? Yeah. You probably want to do some testing before. Like if you're gonna merge that in, I would do a one round of testing with it. Yeah. I mean, if the integration test passed, then we probably are pretty confident. The one there's one test failing that has to do with an LD proof, a missing uh, some validation error. So I think I just need to fix that. And That's that just a probably... tag. That's just a tag on the release on the test. It just says missing data for required field on an LD. Proof. So it might be that one of the tests just needs to be okay. fixed. Okay. But everything else seems to be passing. There's no other failures that I can see. Um, be interesting to try AATH with this. I can try that right after the call. Um, given that there's probably VBS tests in AATH. Okay. So your suggestion, Jamie, is to go ahead with not to include 3127 and just go ahead right now with 1.0. Uh, yes. So my only concern is that when you merge that in after 1.0, it constitutes a breaking change. 
So how are you going to version going forward? Is that going to be 1.1? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'd be a 1.1. But With a like people are... <laughs> yeah, and my, I just feel like we should be releasing quicker and then getting this in and then... Yeah. It's just going to make it even more documentation now. People have to think to install BBS if they're using it and stuff. It's just like so many things. I mean, they're going to have to, regardless, if they go to a newer version, right? They're going to have to to figure out what they need to do with this. So let's. I know, but it's like kind of a release on its own. Like it doesn't, like 1.0, yeah, want to get it out. Get and then have well, less breaking changes in one release. Man. Yeah. So now they're going to have to release to 1.0 and think of all this other stuff too, where if it was just a release by itself, then it would be simpler. Okay. But that's just the way I feel about it. This is like a pretty big change. I don't really want to jam it in one when we've had it second, at the last second i see what you yeah mean. so the one thing though uh, being devil's advocate to pull this in uh, for sure is that like from from a semantic perspective i think the expectation of one dot would be almost kind of like a general availability and general compatibility of the platform um i feel like if we would have to do it the other way around if we release one without merging these we need to document explicitly that it doesn't yeah. work on m1 at least, yeah. Otherwise, it is it, not the the ARM ARM sixty four architecture is not like a novelty anymore. It's been around for a few years. I feel like people would probably expect it to be yeah. compatible unless specified otherwise. Yeah, that is the whole thing. We're we're basically saying, um, that the M one support is more important. Yeah. And it's not even it's not even M1, it's ARM architecture in general. Like, sure, no, sure. This will not yeah. work on anything that is ARM. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like I know, I just feel like we're trying to do everything thing. for one yeah, I release. I know. So in it, initially, I had put this in as just removing PBS, and that would have been sufficient for a release, but then we decided to add differential builds, right? So, I mean... I, I can get I get the point that you're trying to make here. But you're basically releasing two breaking fixes, right? Two breaking My releases. leaning is to wait. I mean, we've waited this long. We can wait a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, let's run the AATH test, see what impact that has. Um, let's keep going with the other tests and then yeah. and make a call a little later. I'll, I'll try to fix that. Yeah, you, test I mean, there's no way we can do it without the integration test. So figure that out. I'm a little concerned as to why 13 minutes, just a matter of interest. What's it's on... failing with an exit code too, which I don't really know. I didn't look into, but it's like okay. a different. Th 13 minutes is about normal, I guess, for the integration test. That's is quite it? long. Yeah, it takes That's takes a bit slow, of time. Isn't it? I mean, fast. no, it takes like it, 50. 40 something minutes. That's what I thought. So 13 seems super fast. That's what I'm worried about. Did we did we take out too many tests? Um, no, the, the only the only tests that were marked is the LD ones that specifically use BLS signatures. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This test failed, but it took 44 minutes. Yeah. So I'm very concerned about how we got down to 13 minutes. Delighted, but you know. <laughs> that didn't actually fail. There's a, see it says, we'll exit with exit code one if the pull request is not a release. So it, I don't know, that might've been it, but it's a green check mark. Yeah, yeah. So you can. The rest of this is a green check mark. Okay, good. Okay. Which is the only way I could do that. Oh, right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, I'd like to also understand the 13 versus 44. So let's figure that out as well. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I didn't even 
I was going to look at it more, but the like those integration tests are failing for another reason. So I don't know if it's if it's running locally, then maybe there's something going on with the workflow. Okay. All right, um, to give an update on Akapai.org. So for a long time, Akapai.org has been run um, and I've been running it from um, a Aries Akapai docs repository. And um, it, it's a pile of overhead and little secrets that I know. I tried to make it very clear how to do it, but um, uh, it's it's not obvious how, how it, um, how docs work. So I'm much happier to have it inside the Aries repository. So this version of the docs are now coming straight out of the, sorry, the Akapai repository. Um, and there's a GitHub action that produces these on each one. But notice that we only go back as far as 11. So there is an Aries um, Akapai docs. Uh, Yeah, I tried to change it to history.acopy.org, but that didn't work. So hang on one sec, sorry. Uh, pages. So this is the old one that was produced from the Aries Acopy docs. And notice it goes all the way back to 7.5. Um, I, I think, so one of the questions I have, is it okay that the docs only go back to 11.0. I presume we don't need to add the docs here further than this. I can provide a link, continue to provide a link to this, um, this GitHub pages to sh for anyone that wants older releases. So I can do that. Um, I do need to keep around Aries Akapai docs in case I have to produce another 11. Um, tag i can't right now produce an 11 tag um in the aries akapai docs or sorry in the normal akapai repo um, without doing a whole bunch of messy stuff so i just didn't want to do that i tried yesterday and just said forget it it's it's too ugly <clears throat> so what i do just for those that might be interested, I generate the docs out of various docs and then trans and then simply move the the um, static files from the GitHub pages of of the Aries Akapai docs repo into the Aries into the Akapai repo, and that allows the the generation to produce the um, this included in this list. So. Um, that's the plan is that we'll only have docs going back to 0.11.0, which is the uh, current LTS, uh, one of the two LTSs that we have, um, 11 and then 12 are the LTSs. So, and then once we drop 11, we'll, we'll remove these three and just leave this to be the LTSs. And then um, I'll put a link in here to say if you need to go back uh, on the welcome page, if you need to go back to earlier ones, here's a link to it. So I'll, I'll make that change as well as part of the release. So that's where we are with the docs. I hope that makes, I don't know if that makes any sense. It makes sense to me, um, but that's where we are with it. Um, I assume nobody cares that this list does not go all the way back to 074. No concerns. Excellent. And Jamie, I agree. That was a lot of files I added. <laughs> 2,000 files added to add these three crazy. releases. And I was originally only going to do 11.2, and then I decided to put these two in. Maybe that was a bad decision. Just makes the repo bigger. OK. That's that. Uh, 
Yeah, that covers what I had. We've gone through the PRs. I, I haven't seen any important issues that have come through as far as I know in the last week or two, um, other than things we're adding. So we're just really trying to get Akif's BBS stuff done and then a new release candidate. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't take two weeks to get it. <laughs> exactly. Um, I think we'll have a um, uh, we'll have a, a call made on that. I'm just running the test locally uh, using the release, just the release uh, test and the BBS, excluding the BBS tags. Yeah. So now the, the question I have is that if the tests pass on my machine, but they're not passing on the GitHub actions, so how do we resolve that then? We have to fix the GitHub actions. I don't know what the issue is, but we have to fix it. So, okay. I well, don't let's, know either because well, it's using an Ubuntu machine to run those. So. Un unless we want to uh, keep um, send your machine over to GitHub so that we. Can... <laughs> <laughs> I I wish that was it was that easy, right? Well, let's just see what happens. If it's just a simple like fixing one test, that's great. Yeah. Um, but we'll I'll find out. pull it and run it on my machine. It's an Ubuntu machine, so it should be similar to the. Good. Yeah, good. Okay. And that's the type of thing we should be seeing, right? Because we're messing with machine architectures and all this stuff. So it's not outrageous that we're seeing that on this. No. Okay. Any other um, topics to discuss at today's meeting? Where are we set? All right, I'll post the recording later and other than that, we're done. Thanks all. Thank you, have a good day. Thanks.